already. I can't believe Jamaica is running out of water. How can that be a possibility in Jamaica, Jamaica? You understand me? I say, that is not right, man. They might pull some coop on the people in Jamaica. You understand me? I do it. They're supposed to have a lot of reserve. They got so much salt water out there where them can catch the salt water and, 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 and put it through them purification there and get it as proper drinking water. They see how much things that Jamaica Prime Minister could be doing for the Jamaican people them and not doing it before that him start corruption the whole place. You know, so they are there with him. Just interested in the corruption and robbing the people them money, man. What about water? Water is very important. Water is the star of our life. You understand me? I say, water is a thing we need in Jamaica. And this big process, this protest here, we are going on. You understand me? I say, this is how the people need to stand up to Andrew Olness. You understand me? I say, family, I'm going to let you see this protest right now and see what's going on. It's just mental. Have a look. Mr. Hall and other affected parties surrounding a protest at the University of the West Indies Mona Campus Sunday evening. The students are calling for the Student Services and Development Manager of Mary C. Cole Hall, Dr. Nadine Spence, to step down. If the kids them can do it, why can't the whole Jamaica stand up to this Prime Minister, our Prime Minister, what we have all there? You understand me? Don't have nothing good to give to the people of Jamaica. So we need to stand up. We need to stand up like all these people are protesting for their rights. We should get the heart. We're supposed to be braver than that, man. You understand me? What is the government giving you? What is it? What is he giving you? For you can't be able to protest on this boy and get him out of position before we run the country down even more. Let's keep going. It follows an alleged altercation with a student on Sunday at the Sports Day event. Dr. Spence has denied the allegations. Now we'll provide more details in subsequent newscasts. With drought conditions worsening across the country, Minister Sit with there. Responsibility for Water, Matthew Samuda, says $50 million has been earmarked for drought mitigation works. The municipal corporations will hear to... <coughs> Forgive me for saying this here, yeah, but it's money them boy are looking at, man. Mr. Jamaica, I run out of water. Just think about what the man saying, you know. Think about the joke we're talking about, you know, man. Think about it, you know. Obviously, they haven't had no rain for a bit now. But they would have been prepared for these kind of things, you know what I mean? They would have been. They would have been prepared, or they should have been prepared. You understand me? So, all I can see here is a money, money thing. Now, let me keep listening. Today, how much funds they will each receive. However, speaking on TVJ's Smart Jamaica Monday morning, Mr. Samuda said that the funds will not be split evenly. What? We've done a metric that, that compares um, population as well as using the standard precipitation index. So, who has, okay. who has the worst gotcha. drought? Yeah. We'll get, it's, not, it's not widely varied, yeah. but there are population concerns as well as those who have been without water longest. Yeah. So, for instance, because of a... Listen, listen to what the man say, no man. Listen to what the man say. This is not a widespread thing. If there's a drought, there's a drought, man. You understand me? I come from these 14 parishes in a Jamaica. You think the sun has shined from one part and now shine from the next part? Is this what you say? Is that what you're trying to tell me, man? Is this what you're trying to say to us? That's why I said it's money. This is just money. Again, you get me? They want money for bar again. Hi. Additional road work in the area of Eastern St. Thomas and Eastern Portland, they need a little um, more. more assistance. Yeah. Clarendon has been a scorching with heat and with lack of rain, so they will need some assistance in both the northern and the southern belt. 
Should in the be. meantime, he says Jamaicans should be concerned about the rapid depletion of the island's water supplies, especially with less rainfall. Hmm. From as far as October, we saw declines against our 30-year average rainfall in most parishes. Um, that has continued to worsen. I would have just received the final data for January this morning on the we here and in 11 of 13 parishes your standard precipitation index has fallen meaning we've continued to receive less rain so we're already way below our 30 year average um, across most of the island two months into the new year and over 40 people have me can't, me can't understand it family you know what I mean? I say I cannot understand how Jamaica is running out of water oh man this is 2023, you know, my families. This is 2023. All these water problems supposed to be sorted in Jamaica a long time ago. So you have a president running in, 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 in office for so long. And majority of Jamaica don't have running water. So you tell me now, what kind of infrastructure that you're building up? What is that you're building up in Jamaica, man? You do not care about the people, eh, man. I'm not going to stop saying it. I know you don't care about the people. You understand me? And these cheap cars. But I'm bringing in the country. Skilling off people. Left, right and center. You understand me? You're building people these pretty roads. But you do not have speed, camera and them. Think about it. Mr. Idiot Olness. Think about this. Speed camera help cut down speed. Allow me to tell. We're going to take a look. They have been killed on the nation's road. As Sandra Williams reports, one motorist was killed and four others hospitalized. Broken trees, a car visibly damaged, and disjointed car parts. Evidence of a collision that occurred about 6.30 p.m. on Sunday. Car crash parts are flick off a car, all panel of flyway. You understand where I'm coming from? These cars that they're selling to Jamaica, I've, I've said it already, man. They're not properly built. They look at Jamaican people as well. We're like the rest of the world. You understand me? If you crash in your car, Jamaica, a fatality. Them cars that they bring into Jamaica. Is no good. No good at all. You understand me? And it's China mass producing these plastic cars. Selling to people on the road in Jamaica. And giving us pretty road to kill ourselves. But not putting the proper plans in action as well. Like speed camera is a big thing. It works in all countries. <laughs> Why? The crash happened on the north-south leg of Highway 2000. Operations officer for the St. Catherine South Police Division, Superintendent so Hopton Nicholson, was traversing the area at the time of the crash. When I heard uh, a loud sound behind my vehicle, when I looked, I realized that at least two uh, vehicles had collided and one of the vehicles hit the embankment and went over into uh, a deep ravine uh, close by it's believed that speeding was a major factor that's why we were told that the gentleman was speeding all the way from uh, some parts of saint anne uh, that we have without a camera this is what i'm saying you <clears throat> mr prime minister man you are so I'm going to put this. Your, your, your mentality is so behind time. Your mentality towards the Jamaican people is so behind time. Look how far the man has been driving at speed fire. And not one camera for flash him. Pop, pop. When that lick him lies to plate, him say, blood, him, him realize. Same do something wrong. Him bring speed down. Try trying to reach to Spanish Town and uh, was driving very reckless on the road as other motorists would have 
uh, stated when they came to this location. Emergency responders, including a unit from the fire brigade and health services department, were later called to the scene. Uh, they managed to extract five so persons from the ravine and the four of them were transported to the hospital. One of the persons uh, was pronounced dead on location by a medical doctor who was passing. Two other persons received injuries and they were taken to the hospital for treatment. Two children, a nine-year-old and a three-month-old, are among those injured in the crash. This latest incident has pushed the total number of road fatalities since the start of the year to more than 40. To what I'm doing now? February. I'm more than 40 people crash and dead in a Jamaica already. Isn't that showing you? Isn't that showing you something? Isn't that showing you that something is drastically wrong on the roads in Jamaica? All these pretty roads, you need cameras. Speed limit supposed to be set. 40 people. Yeah. Right, family, Dr. Cookie, there again, coming back with you with another one. And tomorrow, we are bringing something brand new, you see me? Because I'm going to be showing you everything what's going on in Jamaica as a whole, basically. I'm not skip out nothing. I mean, I hide and talk about no dirty corruption. You see me? So, here we go. Dr. Cookie, like, subscribe, comment section, keep it going. <clears throat> I'm again, one more time.